hello everyone thanks for watching this video and in this video today we are going to understand how to sort the string array assume that you have an input array which is a string type like this one and we need to sort this string array and we have to get the expected output something like that okay so so let's proceed now so we have one string array called input array which which is as a string types which has the value already loaded so our responsibility is to sort this array and get the expected output mentioned above okay okay so before that let's have one method api where we are going to write the, our actual logic to sort the string array so api could be public static public static void get sorted string array get sorted string array okay fine so we need to call this api since this is a static method so we can directly call through the class name okay now we are able to call and we need to pass this argument since this is a user input and we need to sort this argument only okay so accordingly we have to change the parameters of our actual method where we are going to write the main logic to sort the string array okay so we got the string array as a input fine so let's create one local variable where we need to assign the user input array okay now let's have one for loop since we are going to sort this array so it's our responsibility to read each and every index string which is available like zeroth index z first index d second index a like that length index length minus one index is x so for loop will really helping us to scan the our array so here it stands for a string array which is which is named as a input so it is start from zero to length minus one fine let's have another loop same for loop which is called j which is start from i plus one means one index ahead from the your first loop okay until length minus one fine so now our main logic here we need to write the sorting the sorting this string array so we have one api call compare to compare to which is given by the string class and which will help us to really sort the string array or uh, which which is basically helping us to compare the two string to get the comparison between two string so basically this compared to method return three three value first is positive second is negative and third one is zero okay for now you understand these things we have another video where we will exploring this method in very deep dive okay fine so we need to, so we are going to use this method compared to so how we are going to use if input of i which is coming from the first loop since it's now it's a string dot compared to and input which is coming from second loop okay so what i am telling him is if this guy this string dot compare to this one if this i is really greater than j 
greater than j means this whole thing is returning you positive then positive means greater than zero that's what positive right if it is greater than zero means positive then what you do is string temp equal to input of j j j equal to input of i and i equal to temp so you do the cyclic conversion between two okay so we did the assignation so our logic will end here till this loop it will run okay fine let's check again so basically this loop will end here okay now if you see we are doing every operation into the one array we haven't created any second array so what are so what are the output or what are the logical change will happen that will impact this array only so our basic output for sorting is also got stored into the this array if you iterate this array now if this logic is correct you will be get to know the exact output here itself since this uh, logic start ending here and start from here so we can iterate this input array here to get the exact output what we supposed to match from the our output like this one this one okay so let's print here input of i now run this one run as java application so you see three times a is coming three times a a a b b c c x x y here you need to put the i sorry and here you have to replace i with j and j with temp now this should work a b okay what you do is you just remove the new line right click run a java application then you match this a b c d l m x and z fine good right so we got the exact output okay now we don't need this for loop here we want our code to be very clean okay so now we got the output our responsibility is to change this void to string array okay and accordingly we have to return so here what we are going to return input only since we return input as a string array so here we can save this value output as a string only okay and if you do the for loop here if you're trying to iterate your output you will be getting expected output output of i okay now you need to delete this new line and have one extra space between two string so it's easy for us to identify now if you match from the output a b c d l m x and z so this is matching as per this one only okay yeah so let me summarize you again we got one input array which is input input array that we pass into the our actual api where we are going to write the logic here we are uh, iterating through the two loops 
one is for loop another one is also for loop only difference between these two for loop is the second loop is one step ahead from the for loop so, so that we are comparing basically the two two string one string we are getting from the first which is ith index and compared to another string we are getting j which is the ith plus one means one step ahead from the first string okay and we are if if, if both are if we are getting the return type as a greater than zero means positive then we are um, then we are uh, sorting this one okay so basically i don't want to explain you i don't want to confuse you now on more more on compared to this will return three three things one positive negative and zero zero will happen once these two are equal then it will return zero negative means positive negative nothing else only ascending and descending order okay so let's assume, just assume that okay i will explain you here only just copy this one okay paste it here for our reference okay and this greater than if you change into the less than and if you run program now you will see the difference You will see the difference so this is something like that only it, it print from and z x ascending descending okay so that is the only things if if both are returning zero means both are equal so our responsibility is now to get the output something like that so we add a greater than zero now if you run just to verify make sure that we wrote everything correct Fine. we are getting expected output okay yeah thanks for watching this video